In this video, we'll show you how to adjust the default properties of the attendance rate field so that it always shows up in the orange-blue diverging color spectrum as a percentage value with no decimal places and averaging the underlying values. These default changes will save us time in the future when using the attendance rate field so we don't have to manually adjust it every time we use it. To get started, we always want the color spectrum of attendance rate values to be orange-blue diverging. This makes the contrast and values really pop out. To do so, right click on attendance rate under measures, hover over default properties, and click on color. In the dialog box that pops up, click on the drop down menu for palette, and click on orange blue diverging. Click OK. Next, we always want to see attendance rate as a percentage with no decimal places. The default is a number with five decimal places and no percentage symbol. To make this change, let's right click on attendance rate under measures once again, hover over default properties, and click on number format. In the dialog box that appears, click on percentage. and Let's drop the decimal places to zero and click on OK. Finally, we always want to average the attendance rate numbers. It really doesn't make sense to add up or sum these values, which is the default. So let's change the default aggregation type to average. To do so, right click on attendance rate under measures, hover over default properties, hover over aggregation, and click on average. Now to show you the power of these default changes, let's make a quick visualization. Double click on economic development region. Let's drag total mail from measures on up to columns and drag attendance rate onto color. So just like that, our attendance rate is properly displayed. Every time we bring attendance rate into a visualization in this particular workbook, those default settings stick. Thank you for joining me during this default properties lesson.